Hello children, today we are going to start with a new chapter of science that is air. Let's start with mind mapping. What comes into your mind when you hear the word air? Breathing, flying, it is a mixture of different gases, it is useful for flying kites, it is helpful in drying clothes. It is needed for sailing of boats. Aims of the lesson To make the students learn about the importance of air. To study about the composition of air. To make children aware of air pollution, its causes and effects. learn about the importance of air. Air is very important for breathing. We need breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. All living things need air for breathing and survival. Let's learn about the composition of air. Air is a mixture of gases like oxygen, Nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, helium, water vapor, etc. Nitrogen is 78%, oxygen is 20.9% and other gases are less than 0.17%. Carbon dioxide is just 0.03% in the atmosphere. Argon is also less than 0.90% in the atmosphere. Let's learn about some of the properties of air. The first basic property is air occupies space. Take two balloons and blow air into one. The balloon into which you blew air is bigger in shape and size. This proves that air occupies space. The second important property of air is air contains water vapor. Blow air on a mirror using your mouth. Now touch the mirror and you will find that it is wet. This proves that air contains water vapor. Students, now let's learn about some of the uses of air. The most important use of air is Air is used for breathing by living things. All living things, whether humans or animals, they need air to breathe. Air also helps birds to fly high in the sky. Air helps boats to sail. We fill air in tires and balloons. Air is used for drying clothes. Whenever you feel there is wind or air, the clothes dry easily. Now let's learn what is air pollution. Mixing of impurities like dust particles and harmful gases in air is called air pollution. Smoke from factories and vehicles are the main causes of air pollution. And due to air pollution, many diseases are caused like asthma, allergy and breathing problems also. Let's learn some ways to reduce air pollution. Planting more trees. 
whenever we are going to plant more and more trees this will help in reducing air pollution as the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will be taken by the trees and oxygen will be provided to us this will reduce air pollution and will give us more of oxygen the second important way to reduce air pollution is lesser use and regular checkup of vehicles we can use cng vehicles and we can also do carpooling so that the air pollution reduces constructing of tall chimneys will also reduce air pollution as the pollution will divert to other areas and in one area the concentration of air pollution is less now let's learn some of the new terms learned in this chapter components parts of something for example air is divided is a mixture of different gases so these are the components of air oxygen nitrogen argon helium these are all the components of air pollution mixing of impurities whether it is in air or whether it is in water is called pollution atmosphere the mixture of gases that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere disease an abnormal condition affecting a living organism for example by air pollution we get different diseases like asthma lung problem skin allergies etc thank you and i hope the concept is clear to you